My wife and I, we had just pulled into our driveway after picking up the kids from summer camp. The kids ran inside the house right away, and Carol asked if I wanted spaghetti for dinner. I said yes and stayed behind to clean the rear seats. The kids had McDonald's in the back, and young children are not known to be graceful eaters. I got the car vacuum from the garage and was done with the cleaning in 10 minutes. After that, I was about to enter the house when my wife came out and said, Time to pick up the kids, which made no sense whatsoever. I said to her while laughing, Carol, what in the world are you talking about? You just took them in. And she responded sarcastically, Did you not have coffee this morning or did you hit your head somewhere? Come on, let's go. We don't want to be late again today. At that point in time, I really thought she was kidding. So I told her to wait and went inside the house to bring the kids out. There was a little problem with that. The thing is, the kids really weren't home. I searched for them everywhere, including the basement, closets, and even the attic. But no, they weren't home. I reluctantly convinced myself that I was wrong about the whole thing. And sure enough, we drove to the camp, the kids were there, and we picked them up to bring them home. After we picked up the kids, I saw the familiar scenes transpire all over again. The kids wanted McDonald's and we got them their meals. When we arrived home, the kids ran inside the house right away, and as I had expected, Carol asked me if I wanted spaghetti for dinner. I said yes and stayed behind to vacuum the rear seats. Just so you know, this isn't our regular routine. We normally don't allow the kids to have fast food and my wife rarely makes spaghetti. She hails originally from Greece and their meals tend to be Greek cuisine. I'm trying to make a case that if I had imagined the whole thing, it would have likely been something completely different. Nonetheless, if I had experienced what I think I had experienced, then that means either about an hour of time had looped for me and me only, or you could also look at it in a way that I'm missing about an hour of my own time. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I think I may have experienced a glitch in the Matrix event. And you know what? This is actually a little scary. I woke up this morning as a single American male in his early 30s. But yesterday, or at least what I perceived to be yesterday, I was an Italian fisherman living in Italy with a wife and two beautiful kids to keep us busy. Realistically speaking, or speaking in a way that would make sense at this very moment, what I saw, heard, and felt last night is a dream. But it's impossible for me to brush the experience aside as a dream because of how vivid those memories are. Look, I spoke Italian fluently, but I only speak one language, English. I knew how to handle a fishing boat like a pro, but I've never once boarded a boat in my life. I could also feel how much love I had for my wife and children. We were happy, genuinely happy to be together. I remember the details that I shouldn't remember. The smell of fishes by the pier, my wife's natural scent that was so pleasing to me, and my girls playing with my hair. If I closed my eyes, I could almost feel their tiny hands braiding my long hair. The feelings are so real and overpowering that I cried an entire hour this morning. This affects me emotionally in such profound manner. It wouldn't be this weird had I been a person who wears his emotions on his sleeves, but I'm the complete opposite of that, both privately and publicly. It feels like I've just lost my wife and kids. I just can't stand this feeling, and I don't know how I'm supposed to cope with this. I have a bad habit of eating on my computer desk. I've got a perfectly serviceable dining table in the kitchen. But like most single people, I never get to use it. I don't know why, but I like eating while watching something on a bigger screen, like a computer monitor, rather than propping up a tablet on a dining table, that's just me. 
I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was to take the empty plates out to the kitchen. I had pizza and buffalo wings the previous night and forgot to take the plates to the kitchen after I was done with dinner. I opened the bedroom door and was about to walk out into the hallway when I tripped on an Amazon delivery box on the floor. I fell with the plates in my hands and they should have resulted in a likely injury. But the thing is, I didn't hear the plates shatter. I looked down to my chest and hands and somehow the plates had disappeared. I got up and looked around but there was nothing around me other than the crushed up Amazon delivery box. Which means I was never holding onto the plates to begin with but that's not how I remember the sequence of events. So I went back to my desk and there were no plates. Then I went to the kitchen to search for the plates and I still couldn't find them. By the way, the two plates were the only plates in the apartment. I've got a couple of bowls, a pot and a frying pan. I don't own much of cookware because I almost never cook. I'm making the point that they can't be mixed up with other plates because there are no other plates in the apartment. So what the heck happened? How does something solid, something that I can see and feel just disappear like that? Honestly, my mind is blown. This is actually really cool to me, but the only downside is that I have to buy more plates now. That sucks.